All right, test one, two, test one, two. Hello, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our semifinals match of the college esports clash where we have Cal Poly going to be going up against Fresno State. And unlike our round robin, this one is going to be a best of five. So first one to three is going to advance on and will be able to take on UCLA in the finals where both teams are looking back for vengeance as UCLA dropped down Cal Poly 2-0 in their first round robin match. But in the second round robin match, it was Fresno State contesting a little bit closer, but just barely falling to UCLA in the best of three, 2-1. Two and we already have our map picks and bands. And after some discussion, it's going to be Ilios that is going to be chosen for this series. Cal Poly was able to get the ban. Fresno State is the one that chose Ilios. We're just waiting for both teams to get set up and ready to go. All right, then once both teams are ready to go, we will go ahead and start. Now arriving at the All right, and we are jumping on into the map. And like I said, it is going to be a best of five. So first of five, or first of three is going to be the one to advance on through. All right, and both compositions have came on through. Now looking at the compositions, an interesting change first for the Bulldogs. Uh, Bacon Strip is going to be switching on in. For, they're going to give Venari a break. So Sun or Bacon Strip is going to be the new support coming on in for the dogs. In the meantime, though, we are looking at composition. Sundown is going to be on the tank and going to be opting for the Junker Queen. In addition to that, we do also have KCB back on the Soldier and Sushime back on the Tracer. Bacon strips is changed to Lucio, and then we do also have Greg coming on in as well. On the other side, as Bacon Strip gets the first blood, and now it's gonna be proud to say that are just gonna be able to plow their way on through and maintain the objective to start things off. Lincoln try to be able to try to get a pick here, but it's unfortunately not gonna be able to run away as a double melee coming on in from Sushime is gonna be the thing that starts things off for the dogs. In the meantime, I also look at Cal Poly, who's going to be able to try to gain back control. We have Adamantine coming on in for with the Orisa. We have Bing on the Symmetra alongside Nox coming on in as well. On the DPS side, then we have Pekau and Synapse coming on in on the Mercy for the support side. And already Sundown trying to come on in from behind. Has an opportunity here and that knife is going to be able to do a little bit of damage. As now it's Fresno State maintaining control. As Sundown on the drone screen is making sure to get clean work done. As right now Fresno State is just putting up a performance. Not a single man for Fresno State has gone down just yet. And right now they're showing really hard objective control as they are reaching 50%. Cal Poly making a switch over in composition as Adamantine is going to be switching on over to the Ramatra. And do an opportunity here from Nox to try to be able to do whatever he can to keep this team in it. And has an opportunity from above, but Sundown already quick taking out one DPS and get all up to one. And PV4 forced to play on back a little bit with the Brig. 
and despite being in Nemesis form, Adamantine is going to be taken down. And right now, Fresno State is pushing Cal Poly back, and they're not going to be able to do anything just as of yet. The ultimate coming on through, and Knox is going to notch the first blood for Cal Poly here in this series. Flying high up in the air, but it's going to be quickly taken down by that overclock. As KCV got a collab there with the overclock. Okay, Mr. KCV, I see you. And I think the rest of the squad sees you as well. Is that is going to be a thing that ends things off in this first one. As for the state, they're going to take the first in the special three on the attack. One more, and they will be able to be first up on the board. And we're looking at the composition. Sushime is going to be switching over a little bit as well. The Faro is going to be the one that he opts for. In the meantime, though, both teams are advancing on forward. Sushime flying high and in the sky with the Farah. Has an opportunity there, but one member of Cal Poly able to escape with their lives, but not for too long as Blink goes down. And Frail State with this dive composition. Kind of forced to play back for a little bit. Sundown goes down as well. And Cal Poly for the first time tonight are going to be able to gain some control on the site. As the Zarya pick comes on through. And it's helping out Cal Poly here for the short time being. But Fredo stay quick to regain control. As KCV coming on in with that railgun. And now Sushime once more. Flying high with that Farah. Trying to get him from spawn. And Cal Poly making their way on through from the underpass. Trying to heal on through as Sundown is just diving on in with the Winston. Good Gorilla pushing on through. And right now, Pro State, they're going to finally pass by Cal Poly. Heck, who's going to go down? And right now, it just looks like Pro State is just going to push and bully Cal Poly back. Sand down just flying high in the sky, getting a little bit of some healing done. Sushime is going to win in that far fight from above. And Sundown is able to take down two more. That's three, make it four for none, leaving one man alive. And Sushime is going to secure that final kill on Heck. A 10 player kill streak and a clean team kill coming on in from the dogs. And they're going to reach over the halfway mark and they're going to just retreat on back. Raga strikes coming on in from above for the side of Fresno State. That's how far they're looking for an opportunity to kind of strike here. And as they're reaching the objective, they're just getting beaten down. And with the overclock now up and active, KCB quick to enact as two come on into play and a third off the railgun. And with that, that is another team kill coming on the side of Fresno State. And things are not looking good as we reach over 90%. One last push has to come on in for Cal Poly. But the question is, are you going to have enough time? I don't think it's going to happen. As that is going to clean things up 2-0 on control. And that's going to be a 1-0 lead for the dogs. And the play of the game is going to be coming on in from KCV. And I'm hoping it's that last play that came on in. And here it comes. KCV able to get that kill from above with the overclock. He dives on up, jumps on up. A perfect collab. And for say they're going to take the first. And let me go ahead and see what our map picks and bans are going to be really quick. As next up is going to be hybrid to start things off.
All right, so welcome on back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we just got word we are making this semifinals a best of three. So Fredo State one away from getting that rematch with UCLA. And with the Dorado Band coming on through for the dogs, it's gonna be Cal Poly. That is going to be coming up on the defense first and are going to be going with Circuit Royale as their map pick. It's gonna be our first time seeing Escort coming on through for this side. Last time we saw the dogs on Escort, they did a phenomenal job against UCLA, but the question is, are they gonna be able to repeat that performance once more as we do have the hero selection coming on through? And a little bit of a change in composition coming on in from Cal Poly as well. It's going to be Nox. It's going to be on the tank roll. And then as for Adamantine, he's going to she's going to actually switch on over and become the DPS for Cal Poly. An interesting roll switch coming on in from them. So we'll see how that pays off. In the meantime, for Fredo State, we're looking at Sigma coming on in. The Ash and the Widow as well. In addition, we do also have the Mercy and the Zenyatta coming back on through for the dogs as well. And here we go. Things are going to kick off in a couple seconds. And starting things off, Blink going to take a shot and get Sundown down to half health. Buggy Sundown going to be able to just heal back on up in thanks to his supports. But Blink is going to be the one that makes his presence felt first with the shot. Flies high from above. Won't be able to get a shot to pop on up, but Sushime gonna be able to find his shot and right now the dogs they're gonna be the ones that are pushing on through and KCB getting one alongside making this a 4v1 a 5v1 rather and with that Nox is gonna go down and the dogs they are gonna quickly be making their way on through through the streets give credit where credit is due though blink though Able to give his team an opportunity here to strike and did just that, but unfortunately there wasn't able to convert on a second there as the man he took down was quickly able to get resurrected. But KCB though, here we are with the Ashley able to jump on up and is able to get a kill with the dynamite. The burn effect is going to be coming on through and now Fredo State is quickly pushing on through. Sister made the spike going down, it's going to be resurrected by up and so is Bleak as well, so both Widows are going to be back into play as Winston's going to be trying to dive on into the back line by the composition change coming on in from Knox. Knox trying to win this fight in the battle of the tanks, but that pocket mercy isn't going to be enough as DB4 takes knock out, Knox out. And one after another are going down for the Cal Poly Mustangs as they're making their way forward. As Sundown and KCV are plowing through and with about roughly two minutes coming on through. It looks like Fresno State is already going to make his way past first checkpoint halfway through the second. But Fresno State, they're showing no signs of stopping as they're right here at this hotel entrance point. They are not slowing down. As Fresno State already close to reaching the second objective checkpoint. 
As it shows the DPS and the tank holding it down in a 3v5. Hebicord finds its way to find Nox, and right now the dogs, they're just continuing to plow. They have 5 minutes and 30 seconds to close things out here to take it 3-0 before giving Cal Poly the opportunity. We ain't trying to take some shots here with the Widowmaker, but it's going to be forced to play back. But unfortunately, KCV, he's going to find him, gets the headshot. And right now, the dogs, they're just no balling through. Has an opportunity to spot the Winston KCV putting up essentially a top tier performance here on the Ash. Both DPSs are coming on through, and even Bacon Strips kind of playing a battle mercy as he's able to get one of his own. And Fredo stayed halfway through past the second objective, and they are very close to closing things out. And right now, Presley, they're, they're just snowballing. Adam, Adam at team trying to come on through onto the backside with the somber switch, but unfortunately, it's not going to be enough. And with the primal rage coming on and through from Nox, he is able to do quite a little bit of damage there, but it won't be enough. That objective is going to reach the middle of this casino slash hotel. And with those final two heals coming on through, it's going to be Fresno State coming up through. Three to none with 419 left on the clock. Now the question is, is Cal Poly going to be able to contest as well as things are going to be switching on up as Fresno State is now going to be on the attack. And in addition to that, Fresno State is going to be on the defense likewise. The composition we're going to be seeing is going to be very interesting here as Cal Poly, they've been shifting stuff left and right. And they're going to be able to have four minutes to try to come up with one last push dress to try to even be able to force overtime. And it looks like it is going to be the same composition coming on in for the dogs. KCV, like we just saw, putting up a phenomenal performance with the Ash. And Sushime following suit with the Widow as well. And as you look at Cal Poly to try to kind of stop something go coming on in from the Sigma, are going to have the Adamant team back on in as a tank. Coming on in as the Orisa. Uh, Blink, who did have his presence vote as the Widowmaker, is going to try to offer that. Hopefully, going to be able to get that first pick once more. And then we got Heck coming on in on the Moira. The Mercy coming on in from Synapse. And then Nox is going to be opting in for the Farah. And Sushima going to try to come on in from above. But that little jump shot isn't going to be enough. They just gonna allow uh, Cal Poly to push up a little bit. They're just gonna try to maintain objective control and try to hold for the next four minutes. Try to close things out now and get ready for that next match against UCLA. And it's gonna be KCV that is going to get the first blood here with help from the supports. And Sushime there with that critical shot. Makes things right now with Reaper None in favor of them. But that resurrection back on the far does equalize things a little bit. We finally see our monster back up into play with the switch coming on in from Adamantine as now it is now Cal Poly trying to advance on through. And KCB spotting on back, takes some shots, one connecting, can the third connect? That will, his third won't connect but Sushime's will as Nox is going to go down but it's going to be resurrected once more by Synapse. And Fresno State kind of playing on back. Cal Poly doing a good job of consistently pushing the payload forward. Doing a good job of escorting. That Pocky Mercy staying alive as well. Bob is going to be able to come on into play. And numbers are going to come into the advantage of Fresno State as Bob is coming on through. Adam at team going into Nemesis form just to kind of negate what Bob can do here in the meantime. KB Court coming on through though and is able to get one. Fresno State coming on through with a second. Nox though able to get one, but that isn't going to be enough as that is a one for three trade in favor of Fredo State. And never mind, that's going to go down to none as PB Court is going to be resurrected by Bacon Strip. And about halfway through this push for Cal Poly, 
They're just like at halfway here. They gotta be able to get past this bridge. And right now, Kyle Pauly, they're doing whatever they can to be able to push on through, but it's not doing for anything here at the moment. As for other states, team coordination here has been phenomenal as one after another are going down for the Mustangs and things are looking grim for Cal Poly. As they're gonna need a miracle push to come on through, as for other they're just holding this down. And Nox gonna switch on over to Genji, getting very close to an ultimate. As the more ultimates up, that could be a potential opportunity there for Cal Poly. But we'll see what happens here as here we go. But unfortunately, it's not going to hit for anything here in favor of Hegro. He's going to try to heal up Cal Poly. Cal Poly is able to advance on through. Nox going to be able to get a kill with a dash. Bacon Strip going to be able to get Sushime back up and running. But not for long as Blink is quick to able to capitalize and get his own elimination. With one minute left, Frozate is finally pushing on up Sundown. Able to take down the Adamantine and that might just do it. This had to have been a team fight. Cal Poly had to win. Things look good there at the start as they were able to take down Sushime twice. Both KCB feeling good right now. Things are looking grim for Cal Poly. 18 seconds left to try to be able to get one of the best escort pushes of all time but one after another are falling down for the Mustangs two more are gonna go down and I think that might be it Cal Poly is pushed back way too far and that's gonna be it Fresno State they're gonna take it in this best of three and sets themselves up with a rematch against UCLA and the play of the game coming on in from Sushime who was just able to get that little bit of a shot there gets the second one on the Farah tries to get a flick there but wasn't able to convert 